go through life. Eventually, the information within just can't be enough. If I want a stronger bicep muscle and I picked up a 10 pound dumbbell and I start doing curls, after a few weeks, I didn't have a stronger bicep. After five weeks, six weeks, two months, three months, do I still need 10 pounds to create a stronger bicep? No, what do I have to do? I gotta increase the weight, don't I? I need a 15 pound dumbbell. I need a 20 pound dumbbell, 25 pound dumbbell. Life begins at the edge of our comfort zone. The same way I must build a stronger bicep by increasing the load, I must have experiences at the edge of my comfort zone to continue cell regeneration, cell growth, and continue to grow and evolve. It's perfect. It's pure perfection. This is what happened, guys. To get things outside our comfort zone, Experiences we can't quite process, we can't quite handle. But remember, we have this amazing intelligence. It can do no wrong. So this is what it says. You know what? This experience, guys, this is not about being healthy and happy. This is a model for evolution. Biological systems integrating vibrational experiences over a lifetime, adding to the subatomic matrix that makes us as human beings. This is how we evolve and grow. This is way more than pain. This is way more than healthcare. This is about you growing and evolving so you can fully express who you are as a human being. This is the biggest idea I know of. And because we're here to grow and evolve, this intelligence, you know what it says? It says, you know what, Suki? That's outside your bandwidth, man. You can't handle that right now. But you know, as a favor, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that information and I'm gonna put it in your back pocket. We're just gonna put it in your back pocket there. Because you know why? Because if we don't put it in your back pocket, you're gonna have to go out and continue to relive, re-experience the exact same experience over and over and over again. And we're smarter than that. We don't want you to do that. And that experience, it builds up like a layer, and a layer of an onion, and they continue to build up. You know why? Because usually, we don't listen. We're tired, we still stay up late watching crap TV, we're tired in the morning, well one cup of coffee's not enough, let's have three this time. We don't feel as happy, so what do we do? We start having a glass of wine or a beer at night. Then we add that to two, because we don't want to look within. We want to disconnect. We create a lifestyle that does this, not that. Not the lifestyle I saw when I lived in India. Not the lifestyle I saw when I met Okinawans. Because this is how it works, guys. This is how it works. This is how the evolution process works. We go out every single day, we have these experiences. And our beautiful intelligence, job and rules to take those experiences and integrate and process them so we can go through cell growth, cell regeneration, evolution. Do you know when that happens? That happens every single night when you sleep. When I'm standing up here right now, my nervous system's in alpha and beta. In order for us to integrate and process information, our nervous system must, must, must move into theta. If it doesn't go into theta, you do not integrate and process when you sleep. And it's a little more sophisticated and complex than that, but that's a short version. We create lifestyles. We go to bed watching the news. We bombard our system with more fear, building up patterns. We wake up in the morning, we flick on the news again. I haven't watched TV and the news in like, I don't know, 18, 19 years, but every now and again I flick it on. This is what I'll tell you. It's the exact same shit. You know what changes? The names and faces. Someone's still dying. Some politician's still screwing around with doing something to oppress people. There's a war going on somewhere. Someone's not happy about something. The economy's in turmoil. Same stuff. It really changes the names and faces. 
And you know what your system does? It's so intelligent, guys. It has a favor. It says, man, Suki, you're living your life like this, so you know what I'm going to do? As a favor, because I don't want you going out having new experiences, because you can't even process the ones you've had yesteryear. We're going to make this bandwidth smaller and smaller. And what do we say in our society? I'm going to need you. Here I do what I used to do 10 years ago. That's just part of the aging process. Not as adaptable, not as fit. And when these interference patterns build up, we as chiropractors, we call them subluxations. You call them subluxations if you like that word. I happen to not use that word. I just call them experiences that have me integrated. Because so I think that people understand that better. Because I don't believe the public understands what a subluxation is. And I believe that people are thrown into a box of disease care, and I don't like to put people in another box. So when I say they're unintegrated experiences, and once those experiences get integrated, your potential is unlimited. And I don't know what it is, and I'm pretty sure you don't either. But we could do a dance together and see what happens. When these patterns build up, the system creates dissonance. It creates tension within the system. And that tension within the system decreases the flow of I within. So as a result, this vehicle is no longer relying on all the necessary intelligence that's available. Because you are not going with the ebb and flow of life. And because you're not going from the ebb and flow of life, you begin the journey of moving back in this direction. And when you move back in this direction, everything in this universe is perfect, so what does it do? It taps you on the shoulder. It says, Suki, you're not listening, man. Your dad's been telling you this shit for years, but you're still not listening. You're still doing the drugs. You're still making poor choices. So we're still gonna continue to move that way. So for me, I have to get right there, right on that edge of death to wake up. Fortunately, most people in our world don't have to go that far. For them, it's an ache, it's a pain, it's a headache, it's a sore foot, it's a sore neck, it's a sore back, it's sadness, it's depression, it's anxiety, it's MS, it's an autoimmune disease, it's cancer, it's whatever. But all it is, the universe tapping you on the shoulder saying, you're not going with the flow of life. You're a biological system, you're supposed to evolve and grow and you're not evolving and growing. So we need to get you back on track. And the only way I can do this is by talking to your vehicle, giving you a very real physical, mental, emotional stimulus. It's all perfect, my friends. It's all perfect. That's why I believe in innate intelligence. So when I work with you, when you lay on my table, I'm not here to fix anything, because I don't know how to fix anything. I don't know how to get rid of back pain. I don't know how to change your biochemistry, your enzymes and hormones so you can feel more happiness and joy. But you know what I do know? I know how to remind your system to do what it's designed to do. Because just like me, your system might have forgot how to do this. So every time you lay on my table, I take contacts and very, very specific access points. And all those access points do is remind the nervous system how to better connect to those old experiences and begin the process of integrating them. And when it starts to integrate them, guys, guess what happens? Neurologically, we begin the process of moving back in this direction here. And when we have more life force, more innate intelligence flowing through our biology, flowing through our system, guess what happens to ourselves? Brand new every four and a half years. I've seen arthritis go away, osteoarthritis, joint degeneration, osteopenia.